Joining us for more on tonight's topic is Jack Brill, Vice Chairman of the Republican Party of Sarasota, Murray Bluegrass, the President of the Longbow Key Democratic Club, and Zach Anderson, the politics reporter for the Herald Tribune. Thank you all for joining us, boy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what a week it has been. Um, and, and Murray, I want to you know, start with you because um, Hillary claimed victory. Bernie is not quite, uh, not quite giving up. Uh, and I know a lot of Bernie people out there who are angry. Um, they say that this has been handled by the Democratic Party in an insensitive manner. Uh, you know, what are you hearing uh, in and around well, Sarasota in terms of, of uh, Democrats who, who are supporting Bernie? Bernie is going to be there. So are his people. It's a question of negotiations and what he wants to get out of this primary win uh, for Hillary. And then the power that he's brought into this, I think, has been good for the party to have this happen. Uh, but the bottom line is, uh, within the next week, I would think, uh, Bernie will say our supporters are going to support Hillary uh, because the platform that's being developed uh, will have some of the things that he and his people want. But there are plenty of Bernie supporters out there which are, who are still saying Bernie or bust. They, they want nothing to do with Hillary Clinton. You know, unfortunately, um, or fortunately, the word we becomes very important. And whether they like Hillary or not becomes irrelevant when we're dealing with Donald Trump. And so if you want to weigh the two, there's just simply no question that Bernie and his supporters will be fully supportive of Hillary and the Democratic Party. Zach, how big is this movement on the Sun Coast? Uh, you know, Hillary did win uh, Sarasota County and Manatee, but uh, it, when you look at how the state is going to fare in November, can are there enough Bernie supporters out there, at least in Florida, to really make a difference? Well, they're certainly very vocal. I mean, I've seen quite a bit of them during the primary process. You know, they were registering voters at farmers markets. They were at a lot of the Democratic meetings. He certainly does have a strong group. How big of a group it is, it's kind of hard to judge. You know, Clinton beat him pretty soundly here in, in Florida, but it, he still garnered a, a significant share of the vote. I think there's really kind of two types of Bernie supporters. There's the sort of Democrats who strongly identify as Democrats, who I think will eventually come behind Clinton as, as she reaches out to, to the uh, Bernie people. But there are these loosely affiliated independents and, and uh, kind of Democrats who are loosely affiliated with the party system who, I, I don't know, I mean, uh, you know, Trump has made overtures to them. I don't know if they would uh, support Trump, but uh, I, they, they are more likely, in my opinion, to resist and Clinton. Of, of course, we have seen the impact this kind of dissension could have. You go back to 2000 and Ralph Nader got 90,000 votes yeah. in Florida and that turned the tide of the presidential election. Sure, mm -hmm. but you know, even uh, go back to 2008 and, and a lot of Hillary Clinton supporters were pretty sore after she lost to Barack Obama, but Obama reached out to her. He included her in, you know, planning for the convention. Uh, obviously, she eventually came on his team and was his secretary of state. So uh, I think the never uh, Obama people that were in the Hillary camp, uh, most of that was, was uh, water on the bridge eventually. And meanwhile, Jack, uh, what is your take on what Donald Trump has been going through for the, the last couple of weeks? Here, here you have an incredible accomplishment of his to win the, the party's nomination. Uh, and last night, would you would imagine, would be the opportunity to put the icing on the cake and really set the agenda. But he has been fending off um, really uh, comments from both the Speaker of the House and, and the President of uh, the, the Majority Leader of the Senate basically saying knock it off in terms of his comments about uh, that federal judge. Uh, what has that done to Republicans around Sarasota who have supported him and who are looking at this and just saying this is not how we want the, the general election to, to kick off? It's a long time till November on Election Day. Um, As a friend of mine said to me, uh, there is a lot of wood to chop. That, and that's a ver very good analogy. But, you know, it, it, we all are going to come together as a party. And it's, you know, it's happening. We'd like to have it a little smoother, I would say, to, you know, in the process. But, you know, you look at the, how this, the dynamics of this year, Donald Trump got 1.4 million votes more in the primary than George W. Bush did in 2000. He is the record setter of Republican primary votes. And he had a very strong, obviously, in Florida.
Yeah. So, you know, you, you got to look what's out there. And I think that's what's been so unique about this year. It's been, you know, when you look at how Bernie did and all the votes he got, and you look at, you know, the, and Trump, and it, it's a very unusual political year. So, uh, you know, I think we're, you know, as I, I, I think, I know as a party, you know, we're all going to come together. We're, you know, the conventions are coming up. Um, the good news, the conversation will get focused, and, and you know, we get, hopefully we'll get into policy discussions, fiscal discussions. and But, but you're towards. premising that on Donald Trump not doing what he did last week. Donald Trump is his own person, and I obviously here in Sarasota we don't have any control or say on what Donald Trump says or does, but we I hope... I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> well, one interesting... Thanks, Murray. What else he has to say. <laughs> one interesting thing was last night on primary night, he read from teleprompters. He was very scripted. People said that, you know, it was his most disciplined speech uh, in a long time. So, obviously, some of that criticism of his comments over the judge has seeped in, and he's at least for the moment trying to be a little bit more disciplined in his campaign approach and not be so inflammatory with his rhetoric. I think those comments did hurt him in Florida, Florida's probably the most diverse swing state. Uh, it has a large population of Hispanics. There's been some Hispanic Republicans, a senator down in, state senator down in Miami who came out and called those comments racist. So uh, people are noticing it here, but you know, it, it is a long time before the general election. Can't change the nature of a person. Where, where what I'm hearing is, it's all, you know, wood chopping, and by the time we get to the actual vote on November 8th, it'll be fine. Bottom line is, this is a person who believes in himself. This is the person who would turn to himself as the most important advisor. This is the person who has his own vision for America. I think what's really interesting is that both Republicans and Democrats have basically rejected the establishment this year in this vote. Yeah. Uh, I have a granddaughter who just graduated high school, 18 years old, and registered and voted for the first time for Bernie because Bernie promised tuition-free college and Bernie's promising lots of good things that young people really want to see. So, Murray, are you worried at all about the Democrats nominating such an establishment figure as Clinton? No, <clears throat> no because I think she's smart enough, wise enough, experienced enough to be able to take what Bernie has offered and meld it. Here's the question, uh, because there are a lot of young people who are very enthusiastic about Bernie Sanders and they feel let down. You, Zach, you pointed out that amongst Hispanics and African Americans, uh, Hillary is going to win the overwhelming uh, number of their support. But in a state like Florida, uh, if the young people are not as enthusiastic as you would want them to be, could that also have an impact on, on the election? Can that swing uh, the tide here in, in Florida. No, Alan, I really believe, I, I said it earlier, and I, I absolutely believe that every time Donald Trump opens his mouth, he convinces more and more people who may have been very strong Bernie supporters, but he convinces them, wrong person for the president. And Jack, I'll give you the last word. And, but at the same time, Donald Trump has brought out all these voters because he's talking about things that resonate to, you know, people's hearts. I mean, you, jobs. You know, you look at nobody, Hillary hasn't mentioned one word that this country pays $66 million a year in, I'm sorry, a day in interest to the federal debt. And Hillary got less votes this time, this primary than she did in 2008. So, you know. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you all for coming in today.